Hello there, my beautiful Libra friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Libra, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been receiving signs through animals, any kind of insects, repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Libra, let's see what spirit guides would like you to know today. So we're getting the eight of pentacles. So this is where you devote yourself to your work, to your growth, to your success. I feel that some of you are working really hard towards this, but you're going to see the results of your work here. So look at how many pentacles are showing up in your life. These are many blessings. This is income. This is your hard work paying off. All right, so you're going to see results here. So I want all of you to really understand that your efforts are not going to go unnoticed here, okay? So the Eight of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords, so really grounding your energy and growing from that place, especially with your thoughts, the way that you speak, and protecting yourself from any kind of outside energies, any kind of outside influence that isn't benefiting you in any way. You are growing right now, so you don't need that external energy that is kind of um, I feel like there's almost this energy that is trying to squash you here. So just be very mindful of that. Now, I also want you to use your own intuition with my readings here, Libra. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try to interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. All right, so we've got the King of Swords coming through and the Four of Wands celebration joy, excitement. Look at all of this that is coming towards you here. So perhaps some of you are attending an event. Maybe there's a wedding coming in, but I'm seeing a lot of smiles. I'm seeing chitter chatter here, conversations. This is just good times coming towards you here, Libra. So get set for this to happen in your life. All right, my friends. So I just wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading. So those of you that are watching today, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. All right, so there's celebration coming in because of what it is that you're doing, how you're reacting to situations that are developing in your life, showing up and this is you devoting yourself, you're determined, you're determined to make it work, Libra. I feel you're putting a lot of energy in. Some of you have a lot of different things that you're doing in your life right now, a lot of obligations, a lot of responsibilities, and perhaps you have one, maybe two, maybe three jobs. I, I feel that you're really wanting to see an increase in your uh, income, your finances, that growth is coming towards you because if you take a look at this, there's many pentacles here. Um, we're also getting the number eight coming through and the number four. So these might be important dates for you, the fourth of the month or the eighth. Also, spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of the life path number four and the life path number eight. Um, spirit guides are saying four or eight days, four or eight weeks, four or eight months, four or eight years in order to create, right? It might take you a little bit of time to work hard, put energy in, devote yourself to something in order to see growth. And I feel for a lot of you, this is gonna show up. I feel you're seeing the results here, some of you. Others, um, 
I'm seeing this influx of something that has recently come into your life. So perhaps these could be orders. Maybe you make products here at Libra and you had an influx of orders coming in. Maybe you're a business owner and you're seeing an influx of customers. This is an influx energy coming through where you're having to work harder. You're having to put more energy in to create something in your material world. This is coming up for some of you. I also am picking up on... Um, this energy here where um, so, so there's a lot of incoming right but I also feel that some of you are kind of dabbling in different different little things in your life it's almost like um, I don't know what this is it's kind of I don't know if you're eating a lot of stuff here you're kind of um, it's it's like fingers in the pot and everything that's the energy that I'm getting here and I'm getting cupcakes I don't know why I'm picking up on cupcakes perhaps some of you are making different kinds of cupcakes um, there's like this um, fingers in the pot energy coming in and I don't feel this is a negative thing. There could be somebody around you that has their fingers in every pot in your life that is causing, causing a little bit of turbulence. But whatever this energy shift is, there is a big energy shift. We had the sun now move into the sign of Sagittarius. That's bringing in some new energy here, a big energy shift for you, Libra. I feel this is working in your favor. You're going to see a lot of growth and expansion through your own efforts, your hard work. Wherever you put that energy towards, you're going to see that growth coming in. I feel some of you also have opportunities coming in to really expand in some way in your life. Um, some of you are really kind of deep into learning, picking up knowledge, which is enhancing your knowledge, which is then um, adding more value to whatever it is that you're offering, right? So... Um, it's a positive change that is coming in here. This is what I'm picking up on. I also feel that some of you are working alone. You've kind of silenced yourself a little bit from the world here, your friends, and you're kind of working in silence here, um, trying to make something work here. I don't know if any of you have started something new recently and you're giving yourself some time to really understand what this is, um, how to make it work. You're, you're picking up on skill sets. You're really learning. Maybe you've taken up a course, a few courses, right? And you're wanting to make something work uh, very badly here, Libra. So I see this energy coming in and I do feel it has to do with your finances for some of you, right? Um, this is also showing me that some of you have one or two jobs, maybe even three. Um, exhaustion is very real here. So if you are putting a lot of energy out and you're not recharging yourself here, Libra, you need to focus on recharging your energy because this can also, when you're not, uh, when you're depleted of energy, it can affect how we put our energy out. And if we're doing things like half-ass, because we don't have the energy to do it, then you're going to have half-ass results. Okay, so this is for some reason coming through here. Um, they're really wanting you to pay attention to detail here as well and not miss anything. Um, I feel your energy also is all over the place. Some of you, not all of you, it's kind of like being divvied up in different, different places. Perhaps there's some external energies uh, right now trying to pull you towards it, but you, you have this passion, this will, this desire here to really make this one thing work. And I really feel that you are kind of there's a lot of different things that you're doing. Some of you are solopreneurs and you're doing everything yourself. This is kind of how I've been doing my channel here is I film and then I edit all my videos. I create all my thumbnails, all my social media. And it's it's been a lot of work. But now I have my husband as a part of my team. I have my daughter as a part of my team now. So perhaps you are wanting to expand and really delegate responsibilities to other people in your life because everything that you're doing right now is weighing heavily on you. So this is where spirit guides are asking you to seek support if you need it as you are working because I feel the growth is coming in. Some of you are feeling it. And, you know, whenever this growth comes in, it comes in uh, for you. I feel some of you out there, this has come in in spurts like a spurt of this uh, incoming blessing energy, this, this beautiful energy where it's giving you this opportunity to really grow and expand and prove yourself in a sense, right? And this is where if it's too much for you to handle here, Libra, they're wanting you to ask and seek support. If you can find that support, it is there for you. Ask spirit guides to bring support in as well because 
once you ask spirit guide they'll line everything up for you and it happens in the most unique ways here okay so know that you are leveling up in your life especially with your finances some of you are going to have opportunities that come in maybe you have multiple job offers coming in and you're kind of trying to figure out what it which one you want which one's more aligned to you uh, what's going to make you the most money here right and I have one that is showing up here that you're actually meant to pick up on. It's going to resonate with you and you're going to know exactly which one this is, Libra. I feel also because we have the King of Swords and Four of Wands energy here, you have manifested something into your life which is creating this excitement that is bringing in this influx of beautiful blessings into your life, this success energy, this growth and expansion energy. You have manifested it. This is coming through the sword, um, sorry, the King of Swords energy. This is you, by the way, Libra, sitting on your throne, ruling your world, okay? Ruling your reality through your thoughts, the way that you speak, um, being resourceful, um, and doing things in a way that are aligned to what you believe in. And I feel you're tuning out noise from outside of you. Like this could be somebody else around you that is trying to disrupt your energy in some way here this is what i'm picking up on this disruptive energy that's come through here for you but you're standing strong you are rooted in the ground here you know what your focus is what your vision is and you're not going to let anything get in the way of that um the number four in numerology is tied to manifestations it's about um foundations right building solid foundations laying that groundwork for that foundation and building that stability and security in your life, which is showing up here with the eight of pentacles through your efforts and your hard work. Now the number eight, what I'm picturing is power. You in power, you taking action, having the courage, really tapping into that inner strength to make things work for you. I'm also getting Ouroboros. The infinity symbol, the snake that eat, is eating its own tail here. So. Those of you that are in a, a feedback loop or in some sort of a loop in your life where you're going through the cycle where you're doing things and the same results keep showing up, you're caught in this or a Boris energy, they're wanting you to snap out of it. They want you to catch yourself and notice when you get into these energies because I feel this energy for you, Libra, is prominent right now, the Ouroboros energy. Um, those of you that understand what that is, uh, there's many ways that this can show up in uh, in our lives, but I feel for you this is something that's minor. It's almost like this uh, loop where you have this habit of doing something. When you catch yourself, you can get yourself out of that loop, but then sometimes it creeps in on you without you even knowing it. And I feel it has to do with something external to you. So... Um, maybe it's not your energy that's in the Ouroboros loop. It might be in someone else's energy that you are witnessing right now, that you are actually observing, which kind of throws you off course as well. So this could be a partner. This could be somebody in your home. This could be a coworker, somebody that's around you on a daily basis here. So this is why I think it's somebody that you live with. Uh, or it's somebody that you work with that gets caught in this loop and almost like drags everybody's energies around with them. This could also be your own energy, Libra. Um, this is where you ground yourself, quiet the noise around you and focus. Use positive affirmations and mantras. I just posted a community post um, on my channel here of five powerful mantras that you can use for yourself every single day, Libra. So please go check that out. Um, but really gaining that power, this is you taking charge, this is you taking your power back, especially your mental power, and speaking up. If there's something bothering you, speak up and talk about it. If there's, and especially with boundaries here, Libra, this is going to be very important because I feel sometimes people step over your boundaries and you have to reinforce them. So now's the time to speak up. There has to be consequences if someone steps over boundaries, right? You have to really um, set firm boundaries in place, uh, especially around your workspace. I don't know why I keep picking up on this workspace for some of you. Perhaps there's somebody stepping on your toes. Maybe there's somebody that is like irking you in some way here, Libra, but you need to pay attention to this. You are very powerful. Um, I feel some people, I don't know if any of you are CEOs or if you're a manager or a leader somewhere in your life right now. I feel people are drawn to you. You have this um, presence about you, Libra, that a lot of people might be afraid of it, but it's almost in a respectful way. 
So there's something, you know, with your words, when you do speak words, uh, a lot of people around you take you seriously. I also feel that you're somebody that knows how to weigh things or options. Like, you, um, I don't know if any of you are um, advisors out there, right? Like financial advisors, if you are a counselor, a therapist, a coach, or a mentor. Um, people come to you to seek advice because you have a lot of good information to give. Um, maybe this is something that you're meant to actually do as a living here. Those of you that are really good at speaking and communicating, right? Maybe you're meant to rise with this. I feel some of you, um, this challenge, because we have mountains in the back of this card, there is that challenge, right? This could be that energy that is that external energy to you that is kind of uh, distracting you in some way, disrupting your energy. So this is why spirit guides want you to put yourself in an abundance mindset, a positive mindset. Be very um, aware of what you're thinking, how you're speaking, especially about yourself at this time. This big energy energy shift, it's working in your favor. And I feel manifestations are coming into fruition as well because you have clarity of what it is that you're wanting to create in your life and you're taking the necessary action steps to create that. So that's where the power is coming in from, okay? And look at this celebration. So I feel some of you are going to be celebrating some sort of a win in your life. This could be you attending a wedding even. This could be an event, but I feel there's a lot of joy and excitement coming in. This could be Thanksgiving for some of you, um, spending time with your family, really enjoying the holidays, enjoying Thanksgiving. So there's that celebration coming in. I feel it's more than just that. I feel there's some other energy in the air that is going to have you celebrating some sort of a goal, a milestone. You're going to be able to share this with your connections, share this with those around you. And, and spirit guides are wanting you to celebrate your goals. They want you to celebrate your milestones, no matter how big or small they are right? Cheer yourself on here. Give yourself a pat on the back on how far you've come here, Libra. Now, it's a perfect time to network for you, by the way. So if you are invited somewhere, take that invitation and go and uh, join that event. I don't know if you're attending a workshop or a wedding. Um, if you're traveling, I'm getting travel here as well. Um, maybe this is a mastermind group, maybe it's a yoga class even, and there's some sort of energy there that is really going to work for you in a positive way here. So if someone's inviting you to go out and do something, uh, take that opportunity to connect with people right now. Libra, I feel for some of you, um, you've kind of been working really hard um, and you haven't had time to really connect and enjoy moments in your life and now's the time where spirit guides are nudging you here libra to get out there to explore to celebrate be in this present moment and enjoy where you are in life it doesn't matter where you are what you're experiencing they just want you to bring that joy and happiness into your life and celebrate everything that you are trying to create or everything that you have created in your life thus far all right um i'm getting also that I don't know if any of you are at a wedding right now or going to attend a wedding and the bride throws a bouquet and you're going to catch that bouquet that's coming through as well. Or if you've caught a bouquet recently, uh, flowers. I feel there's flowers around you. Perhaps you have a flower boutique or you do floral arrangements here at Libra, something to do with using your hands. This is really going to grow and prove to be very successful for you, okay? Anything to do with... Um, using your hands to organize and create something. This could be anything. This doesn't have to be flowers, by the way. Um, celebrating a child's graduation, or I don't know if any of you have children, adult children, young children, there's some sort of celebration around them, right? That's coming through as well. Um, and I don't know if you are opening something. I'm seeing someone cutting scissors, like taking scissors and cutting a ribbon here as well. This could be you... Um, purchasing a new car here so you're celebrating there's something entering your life here Libra that you're meant to celebrate okay so this is what's coming in spirit guides really want you to ride the momentum of this happy energy while it comes through ride the momentum as far as you can and um, they're showing me somebody writing and I'm getting the name Jacinta coming in. This came uh, earlier on in the readings as well. Jacinta and Stella are coming through. I don't know who these people are. They could be on the other side. Perhaps uh, 
there's a Jacinta or Stella watching today or perhaps there's somebody that is or was in your life by those names or perhaps you heard these names in a movie on the internet on uh, TikTok wherever I feel I'm picking up on these names so this is just a confirmation for some of you because I'm picking up on these names that this reading is meant for you okay um focus is going to be really big here and vision uh, uh vision your vision is going to be very important as you move through this journey as you move through the end of uh, november into january sorry december and then into january all right it's just this powerful force that is kind of pushing you and helping you elevate your energy here and uh we we are actually meant to um work with the universe we are co-creators with the universe right so this is where spirit guides need us to work with them as they help elevate us uh libra so i'm now going to pull a bonus card for you this is a spirit animals oracle deck i always find that these bonus cards tie the readings together anything that i have missed they're going to pick up on and also any of you that have been seeing any kind of animals or insects in your life this is going to give you your confirmation today so we're getting spider spirit have any of you seen a spider recently in your life? This is your confirmation. Make your dreams real here, my friends. You are in the midst of making your dreams real. This is what we're seeing in the cards. And uh, we've got the number 56 on this card. So perhaps some of you are the age of 56 or the number 56 is of significance to you. Five plus six is 11. So look at that. If you've been seeing the number 11s, angel numbers, this is your confirmation as well, especially if you've seen a spider. If you have, this is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. Um, May the 6th or June the 5th is coming up as far as a date uh, for some of you as well. So let's pull this interpretation and read it to you, Libra. All right, so spider spirit, weaving your dreams into the fabric of life becomes with a, uh, begins with a single thread of intention. And then spirit joins you as, you, as your co-weaving co partner here, Libra. So this is you um, weaving your dreams here, okay, through your thoughts, through your intentions. And they're coming true is what's, what's happening here. Spider spirit arrives when you need reminding of the awesome power of co-creation with spirit. Ideas and resources will begin to appear as if by magic as you begin to bring dreams from the realm of intention into the world of senses where they take form. That's the eight of pentacles, okay? The action you need to take is to be clear about your intentions and then act as if you have become the one that lives the life you desire. And this is what the King of Swords is all about, acting as if through your thoughts. The web of a creation has an uncanny way of coming together to weave the beautiful pattern you set into motion. Another message of spirit, uh, Spider Spirit is about any creative project you may be considering, whether it's writing, painting, music, journaling, gardening, etc. Now is the time when inspiration wants to be channeled through you as something creative, even artistic and tangible. Creative projects are successful now if you are so inclined. Let yourself be open to abundance here. Libra, and this is what you're doing. You're creating, setting intention, and working hard in creating them. And this is probably that um, celebration that's coming up because you're actually seeing the results of that work, those manifestations, right? So spider spirit here for you. Embrace this energy, Libra. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you as well. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers or repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation today. Lucky break. So if you've been seeing the number 13s, 13, 13 in your life, this is your confirmation that you're about to receive a lucky break here, everyone. So it says making intuitive choices, fruitful search, good fortune getting what you want all of this is coming through you're going to get what you want here libra and you know making choices through your intuition this is where you quiet the noise allow yourself to sit in stillness and then make those decisions based on what you're receiving intuitively and fruitful search good fortune is all coming through as well um, january the third or march the first is coming through this uh, card here for you today uh, libra so 
I would mark those dates down definitely. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.